Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Robot C Virtual Worlds just real quickly and very basically. Um, there are other videos on my channel that go into more detail uh, on how to do this, uh, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Once you open up Robot C, uh, make sure you go into Robot, check your platform type, make sure it's XIQ and set to natural language. Make sure that the uh, compiler target is set to virtual worlds. Once the compiler target is set to virtual worlds, then check to see that you have the right virtual world. You want select virtual world to use. That's under window. Select virtual world to use. You want to make sure that curriculum companion is selected. You can download more packages, but for now let's just use curriculum companion. Okay. Uh, now I want you to just open up a new file new file just like that and then click download to robot real simple that's all I want you to do at that point you're gonna need to wait it takes it takes a minute to load but this other second little window called curriculum companion should pop open um, unfortunately my screen resolution is is not real good right now so it's gonna be a little hard to see um, so just listen closely and, and follow along there's two tabs there's an the orange tab and the blue tab make sure you have you're selected on the blue tab and then just click login as guest. Once you're in this little window, you'll see tabs across the top, robots, movement, uh, remote control. Select robot, okay? Select robot, and then make sure that you have the VEX IQ Clawbot or the Clawbot IQ selected. Notice on the, 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 the spinning robot, the spinning robot, just to the right of it, you'll see the different motors and sensors that are set up that are connected to it. Uh, you can see the left motor is in motor one and the right motor is in motor six. Okay, so now you can go to these different places, movement, remote control, sensing, utility. These are all like the different um, uh, levels and challenges you can do. So if you click on utility and then click huge table let's use the huge table and then click start activity okay and now I'm in my little virtual world on the left hand side you have the play button that'll run the program if I click it right now it's not gonna do anything um, because there's no program to run uh, hitting that refresh takes you back to the beginning and starts the program from the very beginning this little home button takes you back to the menu screen that we're at and then you have these different view buttons like this is the top down view I like that one this is a little bit different view you can zoom in and out with your scroll wheel okay so you can do that on some of these yeah you can with your scroll wheel on your mouse you can zoom in and out okay I think can you do that on the top view no you can't scroll, zoom in and out on the top view but now I'm gonna leave this window open don't close this little window okay just click on your program and behind the window you could also put them side by side if you want to resize the windows, but I don't really want to bother with that. Now I'm going to click on robot in motors and sensor setup. Okay, because my robot is still like technically like plugged in and, and running. Um, and so there, that motor and sensor setup button at the top has disappeared. But if I just click on robot and then motors and sensor setup, then I get the motors and sensor setup window. I'm going to go under the motor tab. And then I'm going to name uh, motor one. I'm just going to call it left. Oops, L E F T M O T O R. And I'm going to capitalize the M. That's called camel case, all right? Because it looks like a camel, all right. And then I'm going to under there. I'm going to select Vex IQ motor, all right. In port six, I'm going to put right motor. And then I'm going to under no motor. I'm going to select Vex IQ motor. Okay. I'm going to select this is the left side and this is the right side and I think I think the right ones are reversed we'll talk about that in a little bit and then click OK now I'm gonna write a really simple program I'm gonna say motor left motor equals 100 and then I'm gonna put weight 1 m sec 2000 and then I'm going to download it. Okay. 
and then I should have the curriculum companion guy should pop up click the little play button on the left and there you go your robot does something okay if you click play again it'll just start the program again from wherever the robot is if you click refresh it'll set you back in the right spot and then you can click play and there you go notice that if I'm moving the left motor that the right motor or excuse me that it's turning to the right okay and I guess apparently this is supposed to be a lowercase m there we go compile okay my error went away all right so that's pretty much it go ahead and play around with it um, one of the things I would have you try is to try the right motor all right equals 100 and download the robot okay and then play it okay reset play and look what happens it goes forward okay check this out if I put a negative download the robot Push play. Ooh, look at that. All right. See so if you can get your robot to drive forward, turn, drive forward, turn, drive forward, turn in in a uh, in a box. And then um, for some added fun, see if you can just get it to drive in a box forever using a while statement. All right. Have fun.